at the Palatine Hill. In ancient times, the Palatine was surrounded by swamps, malarial marshes, and a river prone to frequent flooding. And on top of the Palatine lived a community of vagabonds, renegade soldiers, fugitives, cattle rustlers, and thieves. Thieves had settled upon the idea of stealing their neighbor's women to propagate their city. It was hardly a propitious beginning for a city that would one day come to rule an empire that spanned three continents. But such were Rome's less than honorable beginnings. For four centuries, Rome's influence was felt barely beyond central Italy. And then the Gauls came pouring across the Alps and nearly succeeded in wiping the city off the map. But within the space of three centuries, Rome managed to conquer a myriad of races and peoples from Portugal to the Persian Gulf and from Scotland to the Sahara. But before the days of the Roman Empire, there was the Republic. It was one of the West's earliest experiments in democracy. It was an experiment that nearly failed a number of times due to class warfare, clan struggles, and an ever-growing urban dependency class. And then, finally, it did fail. Popular demagogues and generals learned how to manipulate the mob with bread and circuses, and the aristocracy with plush, lucrative appointments in the provinces. These lectures cover the birth of Rome under the reign of the kings and the rise and fall of the Roman Republic. This lecture series was created and narrated by Dr. William J. Neidinger, an archaeologist and historian associated with the Texas Foundation for Archaeological and Historical Research. The series is richly illustrated with images, maps, charts, and diagrams and will appeal alike to the serious student of history and travelers who want a deeper understanding of the places they are about to visit.